it do, Chef? What's up? What's up? All right, let's get into it. I see you moving and shaking, so I'm moving move and shake with you. Let's get down with the get down in the first question. All right, what's happening? All right, so you are very talented. You've been on the uh, music scene. You've been in entertainment all your life, we might as well say. But you started out in entertainment first. What made you uh, lean towards music? The whole uh, creative process is what really uh, brings me and like drags me to music. I, I love to create, just you know, just like writing scripts and uh, just writing. Man, I love it. Now, and and we're gonna get into the writing portion, but and like I said, you were in entertainment long before now. And you were the younger Jason in Jason's lyric. So how did that opportunity come about? And what did you learn? Um, man, I learned a lot. Uh, the opportunity came about. I was, uh, I had a talent agent. Her name, her name was uh, Shirley Hamilton. And um, really, uh, Harish Davidson, too. I think both of them sent me on the audition. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, Shirley Hamilton sent me first, so. Uh, they got me. They got me the chance to audition, and they loved the audition tape. So they flew me out, and I got to actually learn, you know, a lot of tricks and shit from uh, Forrest Whitaker and Susan. Susan, uh, you know, rest in peace. The the lady who played my mother, mm. she passed away a, a few years ago, about two years ago. Right. But uh, yeah, it was just a great experience, man. I got to learn a lot from Forrest. Now, chef. Chef John, <laughs> my question is, when you say you learned a lot from the Forrest Whitaker, what was one of the main, main lessons that you learned? Um, the main thing I learned, I learned a lot about um, method acting. Method acting. Yeah, he was a method actor. And um, like, I would see him, you know, when we weren't working at the hotel, and he was still mad dog. You know, <laughs> when I when I got home, I was still I was I was Sean. You know, I was me. I was still I was a kid that wasn't Jason. <laughs> right. <laughs> when he saw me in the hotel, uh, in the hallway, uh, the lobby, he still dressed me as his son, uh, Jason. You know, he was still mad dog the whole time. So I learned a lot about method acting and standing character and not not uh, not breaking character. Mama say Vietnam drove Mad Dog crazy. She say when he lost his leg, he lost his mind. Mad Dog! The proper command is cease fight. But I wanted to love him. Come here, give your daddy a hug. Come here. Come here. You know you're supposed to leave a house without some money in your pocket. Got something for me? <laughs> You'll never disrespect a man's pride. So that has led you to other roles, right? Um, yeah, that, that was my biggest role till, uh, I did, uh, Teeth and Blood. Mm -hmm. You know, I was, uh, uh, like some kick-ass cop, you know, fighting vampires, <laughs> you know, but yeah, it, uh, that was probably my biggest role. I had got a few roles before that, that led to that, mm -hmm. you know, I had worked with Oprah Winfrey and I did an episode of Missing Persons, uh, I was there poster boy for Anheuser-Busch at the time, you know, for saying no to drinking and driving. So yeah, I, I was pretty busy. You, you still busy, okay? So you're naturally, a, a naturally gifted songwriter whose music is timeless. And, you know, you've done a lot of productions as well. So can we get into that? Yeah, you know, um, from working with uh, Harmony Samuels and, uh, uh, Jeremiah, you know, uh, all the way down to 
you know, the OK Dizzies and, you know, uh, Ray Garrison and, you know, um, Tin Man on the Beat, you know, uh, Slick. I got a few uh, records on the way with uh, Slick Music, you know, so, you know, it's a lot going on, man, and I'm, I'm just excited about it really right now. The album is doing uh, wonders right now for me. I'm, I'm happy that I finally got one out. You know, my life on all platforms right now, go stream it. So you have a, a song called Runaway. That's on my fire. Yeah. It's a bop. Actually, Oh My God is a bop. And then okay. I went all the way back, and it's not that far back, just last year to Red Herring. Every song that you grace is a, is a good song. So how do you get into that creative spin to where you can make the song, but your lyrics are different? You know how some some uh, rappers, you're going to hear the same lyrics in certain songs. And sometimes the same flow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do that. <laughs> now, you know, uh, back back to the creative process, I like to be myself. Mm -hmm. And I like I like to push the I like to push the agenda. You know, I want to push the culture. Right. Uh, so by pushing it, you got to create new. You know, you got to come with something different than what's being played and what's being made. So that was that's my that's my agenda. Okay. Now you have a song. I I just can't remember the name of and and me and Belinda just talked about it. Your flow. You switched your entire flow up on that specific song, Razor, it's something Razor. Do you know what I'm talking about? Razor? Maybe it's not Razor. I'm thinking about your, your rock group. It's a song that you sound like Future on the song. Oh, oh, oh um, um, Flex Off? Flex Off, yes. Okay. Yes, what was the creative direction on that? Because you have a different cadence and style. Uh, I was just having fun in the studio that night, <laughs> and then uh, the beat, the beat kind of dictated where I was going with it. And uh, that wasn't the first time I heard that uh, uh, on that song, you know, which was which was cool, you know. Uh, I didn't think so at the time, but you know, when I heard it a few times, I was like, maybe so. <laughs> <laughs> I could, what I could say about Flex Off is I was having fun. I was I was in the bag that night. And I was just enjoying myself. So for artists coming in the game, just because you're so versatile, you haven't lost your fan base. In fact, it's grown, you know, with your music career. What do you have to say about artists coming in the game, about switching their, their style? You do it elo eloquently. Thank you. Thank you. Well, yeah, I don't want, I don't want you to get bored with the, same, with the same stuff, you know. So my whole thing is to make good music. You know, and however it comes out, cool. Um, you know, uh, I, I like the baby as an artist, but I hear a lot of people say he, he used the same flow. You know, I just like to expand, you know, and try and try different things. And sometimes they work out. Now with the rock music, you know, uh, I, I could just say it taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, it taught me stage presence because I was performing with that rock band and it, it just taught me, uh, you know, ent to entertain. So when I started doing my own music and going strictly hip hop, it, right. I, I, I saw it, uh, I, it really had rubbed off. You know what I'm saying? My music wasn't where I wanted it to be exactly when I was doing the rock, but it helped me get to where I needed to be. I mean, I think, again, your flow, everything is, I, when I listen to your music and I'm like, okay, what am I getting into right now? Like, do he really know his stuff? And then when I listen to it, I'm like, good gosh, his wordplay is spectacular. So even still, even with rock, you know, you know your jam. So with that, and then you, you don't just work by yourself. You have some people, some rappers who's the only feature on their album, but you have other features on your album. So what stands out about another artist that makes you want to collaborate with them? Um, style, mainly, mm -hmm. you know, and um, adding the contrast to what I already did, the contrast that works. You mm -hmm. know, like I got a song, uh, Yoga on the album it's called yoga but uh me and uh mac tucker you know like his voice and my voice he has like a higher pitched voice mm -hmm. 
mine is like kind of low and like his style and my style I feel like they they work together good so sometimes it's it's about the difference that I, I hear in another artist that I want to really work with them you know okay and then you mentioned your rock your rock band tell us about that oh man chef Sean and blaze you know uh it was a little while ago but uh you know I I did a, a movie, a, a vampire movie, and I just decided I had the like the the main song on the on the soundtrack. Right. So I I decided that like this rock, I mean this vampire movie doesn't need like a hip hop like feature song. Mm -hmm. So I kind of went rock rock hip hop with it, mm -hmm. and it was kind of dope. We did a video for it, and um, they brought some guys to come in and like play act like they were playing the rock part mm -hmm. and um with that you know during that video session they actually learned how to play it and we got to meet each other and they was like hey man we, we should do some more songs mm -hmm. so uh we ended up doing some more songs and then you can thank al frank franklin for that like he hooked that up and you know, um franklin? yeah and, and um it ended up working, you know, and we started rehearsing and just the rehearsal and getting on stage and, you know, just being productive got me in the right direction and got me moving, got my engine started, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm, you know, I just tried to keep building and keep building. And shout out to Blaze, you know, they out there right now. You know, I see all of them doing different things right now, but we we'll probably get get back for a reunion show or something. Okay, okay, okay. Now this is a trick question. So you're gonna have to put on your thinking cap for this. What is the right. <laughs> first hip hop rock band that you remember? Run DMC. Okay, okay, okay. You all right. We on the same page. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they did it right. I'm sorry. They did it right. They did it right. You did it right. So yeah. <laughs> does that is nope. that does that motivate you more to know that it started then but you're carrying the torch now yeah yeah i you know i i never tried to come to it like you know i i created this but you know it, it was i was probably one of the only people doing it at the time you know i i can think of uh, another guy out here in cali he's a crip mm -hmm. he, he does rock music and he, he's pretty hard so you know um yeah, it's good to know that I, I can, you know, I, I took something from some of the greats, you mm -hmm. know, and, and kept going. You know, Drake does it. You know, a lot of people do it. But, you know, it was in good and out of malice, you know. Okay. And then speaking of, like, speaking of the greats, you opened at the BET Awards for Juicy J. What was that like? Oh, you know what? Man, that shit, it was turned up. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Turned up, you know. I I kind of so I did uh three songs. I ended up being able to do three songs, and and uh you know the, his crowd is different. You know his crowd is involved. You go to a lot of spots and people enjoy themselves and they'll tell you they had a ball, this that and other. But you know they do a lot of standing around looking cool. <laughs> You know, uh, the Juicy J crowd was was lit. So, they were lit. They were turned yeah. up. Yeah, they was turned. So yeah, I had a, I had a good time, man. Just shout out Juicy J. Well, you had the Empire crew out there. Like Juicy J, he he he's kind of like you, standing the test of time when it comes to music. So man, <laughs> right. Man. So, what is the most inspiring lesson that you've learned throughout your career? Uh. Be resilient, man, you know, uh, not to give up. You know, I could have gave up years ago and I wouldn't be where I'm at. And, you know, and I'm still building, but, you know, I've come a long way. So, you know, stick to your craft, you know, uh, continue to get better, continue to work to get better. And, um, you know, don't give up on what you want to do, what makes you happy. Okay. Chef whipping it in the kitchen for y'all. So what next for you? Well, I'm, I got my own... Uh, Weed brand. It's called Legal Pothead. Okay, okay, it'll okay. In, hopefully, it'll be in stores everywhere. Right now, we're in about three or four stores. Where we should be in six stores by the end of the month. Um, in Cali, in Oklahoma, 
and uh, I'm trying to get in Chicago right now. Uh, but yeah, we 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 trying to you know expand and keep pushing, you know. But uh, what else? But some good, some good Mary J. Okay, to, to I mean I don't know nothing about that y'all, but uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. you know, that a rock. To each his own. But if you did, and if you ever did, you know, reach out. I send you a, a care pack. Okay, KK. Okay. <laughs> Listen, got, what else? What else? What was that? <laughs> We got oils, lotions, you know, all kinds. Okay. When I'm doing one of them Juicy J turn ups, I'm going to hit you up, okay? All right. Well, that's what's <laughs> up. I'm going to look forward to it. So. I, my, I, and you asked me one thing, my, not to cut you off, but you, you brought up uh, Red Herring. You know, that's one of my favorite songs I did. You know, uh, uh, so to hear, to hear that you liked it, that was like, a, that, that felt good. Oh, yeah. That's about like, but I haven't heard anything of yours that wasn't like, oh, well, yeah, I'm not going to skip. Like I said, I interview a lot of artists. So I'm like, okay, you're a little seasoned. So let's see what you're working with. Can you, can you get into mainstream music? You have what it takes. Like you're, when I say timeless, that's what I mean. It doesn't matter what uh, generation we're in, your music fits that time frame. So big ups to you for even being so creative to do that. And I'm like, dang, is I, is he freestyling? Like, what's good? <laughs> so, you. That's why I asked about your creative cons, like your creative concept. Like, what do you do to get into that mental zen to go into the studio and lay the tracks that you lay? Yeah, you know, most of the time it's the, uh, the music first, you know, I, I, I let the, I let the music and the beat tell me what to do. Okay. So, I, I, I go in kind of empty, empty, and then I take what I have, and I'm like, okay, and this is what I hear, and right. it com comes out. Sometimes, sometimes I, most of the time, I don't even write it. I just go to the mic. That's crazy. I knew, I knew you had like, I'm like, nah, he's too talented. So, what, what, what is he doing? What is the magic? Tell me, tell me the secret to the sauce. So, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely a vibe. Cause I've I've been in the studio and couldn't think of nothing before, you know, and it was all about the vibe. I wasn't I wasn't feeling it, you okay. know. But when I you know when I go in there and I feel it, it's a different story. It's fire! I can dig it. So yeah. making an impact with younger artists, how do you look to do that? Uh, just really be myself. I can't I can't try to be them mm -hmm. you know because i don't think that'll be respected so right. you know uh you gotta get that you gotta earn that respect because they're young and a lot of old heads and old, old older artists you know the artists i can think of a few that they even older than me but they got a lot of bad shit to say about right. the younger group you know and uh they say what they should be doing and how they should be doing it and how they did it you know, and I, I'm not on that. I, you know, I'm like uh, back to the creative button, man. You know, I, I like the creative process. Mm -hmm. If you feel that way, go create something, and you know, and 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 and, and show them that way instead of just you know running your mouth. <laughs> but uh, really, I just want my music to speak. And then mo most of the time, uh, the younger the younger group they they come to me, man. You know, that shit's fire. <laughs> Man, like you know, I get I get that. So you know, I I try to you know just stay in my lane, really. You know, and and it it, it comes off a little bit more authentic, a little more, more organic. So the, they they tend to gravitate to me a little bit more and easier. Mm -hmm. What's well, yeah. hard to stay in your lane when you are timeless and you transcend generations? You know, it's like okay, but I've been there, done that, but I don't want to. I'm not gonna step on your toes, but I'm gonna tell you how to do it this way to make you better. So that's yeah. yeah. So my last question. Woo woo. <laughs> Where can our viewers follow you and download your music? Well, you can download my music on all platforms, uh, which is every platform. And my name is Chef Sean. You just type in Chef Sean on any platform and it'll pull right on up. You could go up to the list of songs. Uh, my name is The Real Chef Sean on Instagram and uh, The Chef Sean on Twitter. You know, I was going through a bunch of stuff trying to get my name the same on both, but uh, it's been a power struggle. 
Nah, you got a blue check. It, it, you, you, you're doing good, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so thank you so much. I appreciate your time and keep right. keep climbing. I appreciate you. Uh, make, make, I'm going to make sure I, because I want to follow you so we keep up, you know, and I want when I want to be able to let you know when I'm dropping something new. All right. For sure. For sure. But I ain't ready for that care package yet, okay? <laughs> let me know when. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> next, the next big vacation or so. Next big celebration. You got me. Yeah. You got me. I'm going to promote it too hard. Yeah. Like, oh, she down? I'm down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm the hustle and I'm the grind. Take the time just for me and you know. Take you to a place where them got no rules. No. Girl, run away. I know your past way. Right? I'ma pull up, I hope your bag's packed yeah. yeah, this kid don't play, I'm a class act That ain't this and this ain't that Got that bitch and don't pass back Barely know this bitch and it's all cap We got sticks and they fall back